your first alert forecast with meteorologist David Harker, only on Fox 47 News at 10. Uh, another look at your first alert forecast. Welcoming back in meteorologist David Harker. The weekend is finally here, but not the start I'm sure a lot of us wanted to go into the weekend. That's right. We started out cloudy. We started out a little bit chilly. Yeah. And we started out with some of that rain snow mix, depending on where you were. Mm -hmm. Most places were dry. However, if you were north of I-96, I'm sure you did see uh, some of the uh, ice pellets. I know I saw some in my area yeah. a little bit earlier today. And we'll continue to see the chance for warmer temperatures over the weekend, maybe even a chance of rain showers okay. Sunday, but it won't keep the temperatures down at all. Let's take a look at the Doppler radar this evening. You don't have any precipitation in our neck of the woods, and it's really not that close. We do have a frontal boundary that's making its way through. We'll have a warm front press through throughout uh, the daytime on Saturday. Could pop up a shower going into Saturday night and then going into Sunday morning. Another frontal boundary making its way through. So it's a one, two, three punch with the uh, cold temperatures, chance of rain showers for the first half of the evening on Saturday and then the second half of uh, at least going into the morning hours on Sunday. Let's take a look at the Almanac, shall we? And 42 degrees in the capital city. That's not too bad for this time of the year. A few degrees above our climatological average, 45 degrees in Jackson and 30 degree temperatures this morning. I still believe we'll be in the 30s tonight and hey, we added one one hundredth of an inch of rain in the capital city on this last day of November. Maybe I should say precipitation uh, as we continue into December. Yeah, this going into the record books is one of the uh, lightest rainfall total months in our history. And we'll get those numbers to you going into the daytime on Monday when we have all the official information. Nonetheless, let's take a look at the temperatures locally. Still in the upper 30s, the cloud cover is keeping us warm, but the visibilities have dropped and we could even see some more patchy fog across the area tonight. Two and a half mile visibility in the capital city, seven mile visibility as you take a look out to Mason and even upwards of Howell at seven mile visibility as well. Take a look across the region at the satellite and radar combination. What you don't see is the frontal boundary that's draped across the area. Really can't tell too much from the cloud cover. However, we do have it and let's show it to you right now on the future track. That stationary front, what's been stationary over the past couple of days, will make its way off to the east. We're expecting a warm front to press through as well and that will be through uh, with us throughout the daytime on Saturday, providing us with some warmer temperatures in mid Michigan. That southerly flow helping out late in the day. You see the development of rain showers in the backside of this front by uh, 7 p.m. on Saturday and those will be with us into the overnight hours scattered. And then once the frontal boundary, at least the cold front makes its way through, that could give us another chance of rain showers throughout the daytime on Sunday. Should be pushing out by the afternoon hours, but temperatures really not getting that chilly right off the bat on Sunday. I believe we'll be dropping the temperatures behind this cold front all throughout the day. Let's take a look at the temperatures uh, locally and I'll show you how that will happen. Back to the 30s tonight compared to the 20s that you saw on the model. I believe we'll still be into the 50s tomorrow or at least pretty close to 50 degrees for your daytime on Saturday. Once we get to Sunday morning, we'll start out into the middle 50s, but temperatures will drop behind that cold front late in the day. Expect some 40 degree temperatures late and as we get to Monday, that's the big warm day. I'll talk about it in just a moment. 33 degrees for your overnight temperature tonight. Winds out of the east tomorrow. Cloud cover, but that's not going to deter temperatures. 50 degrees in the capital city. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour, and that will help us on a Saturday morning. 56 degrees for a temperature dropping the temperatures throughout the day. And then Monday, 61. 61 wow. degrees in December. When was the last time you saw that? I couldn't tell you. Yeah, well, I can. I'll have those <laughs> details coming up in just a little bit about when the last time we saw 60 degree temperatures in the month of December. Stay tuned for that. All right. Thanks a lot, David. We've got more local news on the other side of the break. Stick around. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10.